At the very beginning, there existed an unimaginably dense concentration of matter, an infinitely compact mass. This mass experienced a monumental explosion, widely known as the Big Bang, which triggered the formation of atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies that populate our universe today. For decades, this explanation has been widely accepted by physicists as the origin of the cosmos. However, new scientific research has begun to challenge this traditional view. Emerging theories suggest that the universe may not have a single distinct beginning. Instead, it could be part of a continuous cyclical process in which the universe undergoes repeated phases of expansion and contraction, perhaps endlessly. Renowned physicist Brian Cox has also voiced skepticism regarding the Big Bang Theory. He questions the idea that something can originate from absolute nothingness, adding a compelling twist to the ongoing discussion, further complicating the picture. Recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed findings that contradict the notion of the Big Bang as the absolute beginning of everything. This prompts a profound question. If the Big Bang wasn't the start of the universe, then what was? Join us as we journey back to the earliest moments of existence, exploring the frontiers of cosmology and seeking answers to some of the deepest questions about the origins of our universe. If you want to stay informed about the latest discoveries related to the universe, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it to spread the word, and enable notifications for future updates. Physicists have constructed a detailed picture of the universe's early stages through the Big Bang Theory. According to this model, about 13.8 billion years ago, the universe was far smaller, hotter, and denser than it is now. During this early period, all the fundamental elements that form the basis of matter were created within just minutes. At its origin, the universe was incredibly compact, no larger than a peach, and its temperature exceeded a quadrillion degrees. Strikingly, this narrative aligns with current observational data. Astronomers have studied various phenomena, including the leftover electromagnetic radiation from the early universe and the relative abundance of light elements. All observations so far support the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. To our current understanding, this model describes the early universe with impressive accuracy. However, despite its strengths, the Big Bang Theory is incomplete. A crucial piece of the puzzle is still missing. A thorough understanding of the universe's first moments. This limitation stems largely from the boundaries of our current physical theories. While general relativity and high-energy particle physics provide a solid conceptual framework, these tools become mathematically inadequate when applied to the very beginning of the cosmos. One of the most significant indicators of this limitation is the concept of a singularity, an initial point of infinite density. According to this notion, the entire universe was compressed into an unimaginably small and dense state which seems paradoxical and implausible. To overcome this conceptual barrier, we need to venture into new areas of physics. This includes developing theories that go beyond current limits and can offer a complete explanation for the origin of the universe. Our existing instruments and models are not sufficient to address these extremes. That's where string theory becomes particularly relevant. It aspires to be a unified theory that combines gravity with the other fundamental forces especially under the extreme conditions of the early universe. String theory introduces the idea of the ekparotic universe, a concept derived from the Greek word for conflagration or fire. This theory suggests that the Big Bang was not the beginning, but rather the result of an earlier cosmic event. Building on this idea, scientists have developed a related model called cyclic cosmology. Although the idea of a cyclical universe has existed for millennia, String theory provides it with a firm mathematical foundation. In cyclic cosmology, the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and collapse, stretching infinitely into both the past and the future. One prominent advocate of this idea is Nobel Prize-winning physicist Roger Penrose. He discovered a remarkable mathematical symmetry between the early universe, characterized by extreme heat, density, and small size and its distant future state, which is cold, expanded, and nearly empty of matter. 
According to his theory, these two states become mathematically identical when taken to their limits. Paradoxically, a universe that seems empty and devoid of matter may actually give rise to the formation of a new, matter-filled cosmos. From this perspective, the Big Bang could have originated from the remnants of a previous universe, one in which all matter had been consumed by black holes and then evaporated, leaving behind only scattered particles of light in a vast void. This apparent nothingness is in fact a form of physical reality, an empty but existent universe. The mystery lies in how this same state can be viewed both as a cold, empty expanse and as a hot, dense origin, depending on one's frame of reference. The connection between these states is made through a mathematical method known as conformal transformation, a geometric technique that changes the scale of objects without altering their shapes. Penrose demonstrated that the cold, expansive future and the hot, dense beginning can be linked through this transformation, aligning their space-time structures. Although they differ vastly in size, they can be fundamentally equivalent. In these, extreme physical conditions the concept of size becomes meaningless. In cyclic cosmology, each cosmic cycle flows from an old, cold state into a young, hot one. The hot, dense state that resembles the Big Bang is actually the result of the previous cycle's cold, empty state. However, this cause and effect relationship doesn't follow our conventional understanding of time. In these extremes, time and size lose their usual meanings. The cold state and the hot state exist on separate timelines, meaning that, from an internal perspective, the cold, empty universe could continue indefinitely. In this realm, physics and philosophy intersect. While cosmology provides scientific models to explain these cycles, philosophical questions remain, such as how these cycles began and why anything exists at all. These are profound metaphysical questions that reach beyond physics. Nonetheless, within the physical sciences, three possibilities arise regarding the origin of cosmic cycles. First, it's possible that no physical explanation exists. Second, there might be an infinite sequence of universes where each cycle influences the initial conditions of the next. Third, we might live in a single, repeating universe, where each cycle begins anew based on the final state of the previous one. These ideas are compelling because they avoid invoking spontaneous, uncaused events and instead offer a complex, interconnected physical explanation. Penrose supports the idea of an infinite sequence of cosmic cycles a theory shaped by his interpretation of quantum mechanics. In quantum theory, systems can exist in multiple states at once, collapsing into a single state only when observed. Penrose suggests that random quantum events introduce slight variations between each cosmic cycle. This opens the door for experimental physicists to search for faint irregularities in the leftover radiation from the Big Bang, anomalies that could offer evidence for a cyclical universe. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. If you too enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so more people can explore the wonders of the cosmos with us.